So, 2020 is over. Now, clearly there are some things more important than tech that people are hoping to see in 2021, but those are heavy things. So, let's have a little fun and escapism for a moment and imagine what the new year looks like for smartphones and mobile technology. Let's go. If this video, any of the videos on this channel have helped you, please consider hitting us with that thumbs up, that subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when we upload the latest videos. Samsung Mobile President TM Rowe said that some of the most well-loved features of the Galaxy Note will be coming to other Samsung devices in 2021. A recent report by the FCC showed that the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra will have S Pen support. There's been a lot of talk about Samsung discontinuing the Note line and consolidating the Galaxy line in that regard. If you do, Samsung, please give us a flat, not curved screen. That pin use gets tricky around those rounded edges of those infinity displays. We shouldn't have to wait too long to hear about what Samsung has planned, as there are internet rumors that Samsung is having an event in January, according to The Verge. With Samsung, LG, and Microsoft taking the lead in multi-screen or folding screen innovations in 2020, you can expect to see more of that in 2021. Flips, folds, multi-screens. For the next few years, we can expect to see companies play in this territory as they hone in on what consumers will be willing to pay for and ultimately what form factor is going to resonate with consumers the most. One that I'm excited to see is the rollable screen. Wait, what? Yes, Oppo has shown off a prototype phone with a screen which doesn't fold out or, or, or have a dual screen attachment. This screen expands. This is the X2021 and I'm here for it. But will it be here for us and available to purchase in 2021? Time will tell. And now to a smaller screen. We did a piece here on the channel telling you everything you need to know about smartwatches. You can check that out here. And now a new entry to the field from one of my faves, OnePlus. CEO Pete Lau said on Twitter that the innovative manufacturer will finally be making a smartwatch in 2021. There are no details as of yet, only a statement that the device will be released early next year sometime. Something OnePlus released this year that I'm sure we'll see more of next year is their game-changing Warp 65T technology, which debuted on the OnePlus 8T. I want this in all the things in 2021. We have PD on charging, so let's get those phones up to speed and charging at the upper end of the PD spec, which is capable of 100 watt charging. What this means for you is less time wall hugging because your dead battery will charge to somewhere near 70% in just 30 minutes. Yes, 70%. With that, I think we'll see more improvement in battery tech in 2021. With the pandemic showing no signs of going anywhere and even maybe mutating with new strains in the UK, expect to see contact tracing apps and exposure apps increase in use and efficacy with improved AI. I mean, sure, there are some significant privacy concerns with this technology, but do they outweigh knowing when you've been exposed to the coronavirus or a strain of it? That's for you to decide, but with suggestions that some businesses, including airlines, could at some point require passengers to show proof of vaccination, technology around COVID could hit its peak in 2021. As a result of the pandemic or coming out of the pandemic, I think you're going to see a rise in dating apps. As that vaccine gets out in the wild to more people, I think we're going to see a boom in activity on mobile apps like Tinder. If you were ever considering getting into the stock market, dating sites and apps are going to be hot commodities as people let off some cabin fever by making it hot on the dating scene. 
with the movie theater industry going through major upheaval, I think we're going to see more attention paid to accessories which complement the movie consumption experience on smartphones and tablets especially. That means Dolby Atmos rated headphones and earbuds and smartphone displays which support Dolby Vision or include technologies like TCL's Next Vision. Streaming apps are going to ensure that they're ready to go for mobile consumption of what would have traditionally been theatrical release content. Apple is sitting pretty already with the release of their AirPods Max and spatial audio, but I'd expect to see others capitalize on the streaming market potential by releasing more wallet-friendly options which support spatial audio technology. In my opinion, Apple's mix of display technology and spatial audio technology is the best home theater in your pocket experience currently on the market. In 2020, we saw Google and Apple release phones at a more pocketable price point in their Pixel 4a and iPhone SE. I'd expect to see more of that, but I don't think we'll see high-end products go away anytime soon. Apple sold out of the AirPods Max, so there's still a market for high-end products, but the low-cost, high-quality demand is only going to get stronger in 2021. And in case if you're wondering about those rumors about iPhones not having ports any longer, yeah, that's gonna happen. I just don't think it's gonna happen this year. With the pandemic affecting so many people's jobs, and their finances, introducing a technology which would cause people to have to buy a whole new line of accessories and peripherals at this time, I don't think Apple's gonna do it. I mean, they could surprise us, but I highly doubt it. And I highly doubt they'd get a very warm reception if they did that at this time. So timing is everything. If we're going to see that, I think 2022 is the year. With Warby Parker, virtual trialing is perfect. Like they look like they're on my face. And last, with the world changing, I expect to see more attention paid to virtual and augmented reality in 2021. Being able to try on glasses virtually with your smartphone is already a thing, and you can already look at IKEA furniture in your home through their app using your smartphone, but I expect to see the level of sophistication and practical use of the technology to expand in 2021 as people shop online more than they ever have. So, what do you think? What smartphone tech are you looking forward to or would like to see in 2021? Let us know in the comments below. Hey, thank you for watching. We don't take it lightly that you've watched with us. I'm Tashaka Armstrong. This is reviews.org. We'll catch you on the next video.